extended our support of the Indigenous Reporters Program, and tonight I am delighted to introduce a new award for outstanding work by an Indigenous youth reporter recognizing outstanding pieces of journalism. I am honored to announce that this year's winner are the Muskego Lowlands Advocates, a group of eight recent high school graduates from Fort Severn First Nation. Fort Severn First Nation is a Western Swampy Creek First Nation and the most northern community in Ontario. This past summer, these eight young people came together to work, learn, write, and produce multimedia, including journalism for their community. They were nominated for their radio and video piece, which aired in August of this year, called Access to Mental Health Services with Constable Alex Lewis. What started as a light-hearted curiosity to know more about this new super cop called Constable Lewis, who is highly regarded in the community, it led to feedback around the dire communal, legal, and political situation of, of in-community mental health services and support. Sometimes if we're having a mental health issue with someone here in the community and we manage to uh, medevac them or send them out for counseling, are seen in the hospital or the emergency and then they're released and then they're back here without getting the help that they need. This thought-provoking piece records a six-week research and interview process, weaving together community stories and voices to unpack the complicated topic of mental health. The report has identified gaps in accessible services alongside underfunding and minimal in-community supports to address deep-rooted issues felt by community members. The piece opens with an interview with an elder who speaks about the historical impact of intergenerational trauma and the need to bring back community mediation. Please join me in congratulating the Muskego Lowlands advocates. And while the team of eight youth could not be here with us tonight, we have a video from Chastity Pinko, one of the youth involved to accept the award. Please turn your attention to the screens. My name is Chastity Blue Code. I am from Fort Severn, Ontario. I just want to say how grateful I am to have been part of a group that's been nominated for an Outstanding Work Award. It is truly an honor because the award sheds light on the mental health services in Fort Severn. Miigwech to the judges for picking our group. part of JHR's larger Indigenous Reporters Program. It's an initiative that works to increase uh, the quality and the quantity of Indigenous voices and stories in Canadian media. A few months since our last interview, have the uh, services improved? I would say that there has been lots of more, there's, your video in particular is, has sparked a lot of interest in ensuring uh, that A, poli as police officers, that we're doing all that we can, but B, that all the services that are available in Fort Severn or in the community are available to the people, but we're making sure that they're actually known to the people. Uh, so there is a mental health counselor that's available not only in person, but she's also available on telehealth, right? Uh, or over a telephone call if people wish to speak with her. Um, you know, I still think that there's more that can be done. I'll tell you right out of the gate, we do have a uh, commitment from um, our partners here uh, with the Fort Severn Band, excuse me, with the Fort Severn Band Council. Uh, we do have a commitment from them that they are going to uh, uh, research and uh, look into different uh, avenues available to them uh, to have mental health crisis workers or, or have mental health workers, period, psychologists, whatever the case may be, readily and available on hand here. So again, by virtue of your video that you've released, um, you and you yourself and the other youth that you're working with have had an impact on how that happens. You guys did a great job, by the way.